Hello, I'm Jonathan Pierce with Pierce Performance, and this is our weekly performance tip. Uh, today we're going to talk about dealing with injury uh, from a mental and psychological standpoint. And um, I'd like to just kind of highlight five key things that I think um, people that manage injury uh, on the mental side do well. And, um, and we'll kind of just walk through each of them and, and hopefully this provides uh, some, some clarity on some of the cases I've seen go very, very well with, with athletes or other individuals who are, who are injured, whether short or long term. Uh, I think there's some common denominators among that crowd. So the first thing we should do uh, if we are injured, unfortunately, that we get that way, but it's, uh, it's important to be proactive. So uh, proactivity once you're injured is really, really important. And so this comes down to not just a mental thing, it is actually action oriented. Taking action is the first thing. And I think that's an important mental step though, to be uh, proactive and to feel like you're doing what you can do. So set a plan, uh, get help, uh, build a therapy team around you, um, build a financial game plan around it. What kind of care are you gonna need? Do you require MRI, do you require surgery? Do you need to travel somewhere to seek uh, consultations with someone? If you need to do any of those things, you gotta plan for it and, and you gotta put a game plan in motion. So. That's the first thing. Do your research as well. Sometimes researching different options and other people that can help is, is an important step. And I've seen some of the people that did the best, I found they were also the best researchers and, and their own kind of advocate. And they, they learned a lot uh, themselves that actually strengthened the, the outcome that the therapy team tried to get. Um, the next thing is, is similar along the same vein. Once you have uh, been proactive, you have to stick to the process. And so the daily grind of being hurt is not fun. I often tell athletes it's much harder to be injured than it is to be healthy because you have to do all this rehab work. You have appointments all over the place. You have to track where you are in, in the rehab. You have to, um, it's tiresome mentally. All these things come into play, but you gotta stick with the process. And I find that those people that are really good at you know, handling the day-to-day -day process of injury get better the fastest. And um, I think there is, there is um, uh, beauty and validity in the day-to-day -day struggle of it. And I think we learn a lot from that, uh, that part. So, so what are you doing day-to-day -to, -day to help you get there after you've made the action plan by being proactive? Uh, the next thing is have a support system. And I think if you have a support system, you have loved ones to lean on, you have a spouse, a partner, um, coaches, even your therapy team, those people are your support system and I think you gotta talk to them, you gotta let them know how you're feeling, you gotta ask for help on the bad days. Um, and if you don't ask for help, we don't know uh, when we need to give it. So I, I think being okay with asking for help and, and leaning on the support system, utilizing that and building one if you do not have one is very, very important. Uh, the next thing is, is staying in present time. And so fear is all about the future. And so if we get too far into the future, there's a lot of unknown with injury. When is it gonna resolve? Uh, is this procedure gonna work? Is this therapy gonna work? Um, is the tendon gonna heal in time for the, this competition? All these things are future-oriented uh, thoughts that you can't control. And so I think we need to really stay focused on what we have going in the moment, stay present, focus on your process and, um, and your support system. And if you do that, you can stay out of the future. You can stay off of this emotional roller coaster of, of doubt and insecurity and, and unknown. Uh, the last thing is to separate yourself from the injury. I think um, it's important for athletes or people uh, when hurt to realize that they aren't just this injury, they aren't just this pain. Yes, you're having the pain and you need to learn from it. And, and oftentimes I think we're dealt these blows so that we can learn and grow. And I think if you do that, that's really important. Uh, but also from that, you should separate yourself. You aren't just an athlete, you aren't just uh, someone with an injury. Um, and so learning to separate yourself from that, and perhaps the injury will teach you new things. Maybe you have to develop a new skill set. Maybe you have to develop uh, a new hobby in the short term to kind of cope with some of the downtime. Or maybe you learn a new training modality that you are able to do with the injury that you couldn't do in the, um, couldn't make time for in the past. So I think separating yourself from the injury and, and then being able to commit to that process is very, very important. So again, it's um, the five things are take, take a proactive approach, be proactive day to day, uh, and, 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 and immerse yourself in that process. Uh, so process is number two, support system is number three. Lean on the support system and develop one if you do not have one. Um, be in present times, try to stay present and try to stay out of the future. And then also separate yourself from the injury and, and gather what you can on the, pro on the positive side from the injury. That's it for today. Thanks very much for watching and be well and stay healthy.